Well, hello, my friends. Kevin the Comic Doctor coming to you with a live unboxing. But this time, this time I'm not unboxing comic books. As you can see by my my uh, my background here, I am uh, unboxing some Migos. I did a video a few months back featuring some of my favorite Planet of the Apes Mego figures, many of which were figures I had since I was a little boy. Uh, and I, I had mentioned after that video, I was hoping to come back on here and show you some of my other Mego figures. I haven't had a chance to do that. I've been so damn busy with the comics, guys. I just haven't had a chance. But recently, recently, on one of my uh, videos a few weeks ago, I showcased or I showed off a Conan the Barbarian Mego figure, 8-inch figure that I picked up uh, to help complete my collection. I still needed one more. I needed an Invisible Woman, a Fantastic Four Invisible Woman. And lo and behold, one of my viewers, Paul B., thanks Paul, got in contact with me. He had one for sale. And you know what? He had a whole bunch of other Migos for sale. So I picked up the whole friggin' lot. <laughs> and I haven't, they've been sitting in this box since like, I think they arrived on Thursday. And I just have been so darn busy at the shop. I haven't had a chance to do an unboxing. So I came on here now to show you what I picked up. I'm not putting the chat on today, guys. I am... I don't know if you can tell, I'm exhausted. I've been working at my shop for three days solid, doing some renovations there, and uh, I want to go to bed. But I want to get on here and do a quick video to show some of these, uh, or all of these Migos off to you guys, because I, I have a feeling they're really awesome, because I saw the pictures, and now I'm going to see what I have. Now, these are world's greatest superheroes. The majority of them are. So these are the superhero lines, right? And, you, and if you know about Mego or not, they uh, pretty much had a Marvel line and a DC line. Um, and within those lines, they had a couple of real special, um, a couple of, uh, of, of kind of sub, uh, well, other lines within the, that line. They had uh, the Teen Titans, for example, which are really hard to come by. I don't even have any of those. Uh, and they also had the world's uh, greatest gals, you know, uh, the female superheroes. And, uh, and the Fantastic Four had the Invisible Woman, and that's the one I was really looking for. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to stop talking and get right to it. And I think there might be some other, other Migos in here as well. So let's just get to it. There are some loose ones. So, oh yeah, right, right off the bat. Yeah, so we've got a, uh, a nice Spidey right here. I, I wonder if my, uh, if my overhead cam will work. Let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. I have my little overhead cam. There we are. So there we go. We've got uh, a, a loose Spider-Man. This is a type type one Spider-Man. And guys, if you know your Migos, type one pretty much refers to uh, the rivets. They they went from a metal rivet, which was type one, to a plastic uh, joint uh, with type two. But this one here is an earlier version. We also have oh yeah, my favorite, my favorite, a nicely worn one, and also another type one. We've got a Shazam. Oh, I, I love I love this figure. I love that figure. My, my, I had that figure when I was, uh, my dad bought me that probably 19, 1970, I want to say 79, 78, 79. We were, in, we were in Toronto. I think it was at Yorkdale Mall. And I saw it. It's a Shazam figure. And I said, Dad, I got it. And he bought it for me. And we were driving home on the 401, which is a, a free, main freeway in Toronto. And the window of the car, our old Cutlass was open. And I had... You know, Shazam out the window and his, his cape was flapping in the window. You know where this is going, don't you? And I thought, I wonder if he'll fly. So whoosh, out he went. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't a bright kid and I lost my I lost my Shazam figure. And here he is now, guys. I love I love the colors. And I love the head sculpt. I love everything about that figure. What else? All right. Oh, look at this. This is not bad. These are oh these are busted. A couple of busted figures, but that's okay. These are uh Good parts figures. There's a Planet of the Apes. There's a Soldier Ape, um, and which is cool because these gloves. This I don't. I don't have these gloves from my own Soldier Ape, so I'm glad I have these. I can add these to my Soldier Ape, and it looks like this Soldier Ape uh, inherited some Spider-Man <laughs> hands or what have you. So he's pretty rough shape. Then we have a General Urko, who's in not in bad shape at all, actually. The, the his jumpsuit's in good shape. Uh, and we have, of course, you gotta have a Dr. Zaius. Never enough Dr. Zaius, so there we go. That's great. So these are the loose ones, guys, and I think the rest, I'm very excited about this, because I don't, I only own one carded Mego figure, and that's like a Spock, a Star Trek Spock, and now I'm going to have some box figures, I think, because check these babies out. 
Oh, this is awesome. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that. Paul said he kept... I'm going to see if I can fix... Let me see if I can fix that, guys. Hold on a sec. Paul told me he kept the boxes. He played with the figures, but he kept the boxes, and they're in pretty good shape, original condition. Here we go. That's better. You get a full full view of that. And these... And I remember, I remember guys seeing these at Zellers or Kmart when I was a kid uh, by the cash register, right? I, I, and I, I didn't buy these when I was a kid, right? I didn't have access to these ones. I, I was I was into those the, the larger Mego figures. These ones I just never bothered with, but I have become quite fond of them, you know, <laughs> ever since. And even some of the art on these, these these boxes are great. And these, this box is in great shape. So that's, that's awesome. So we get a nice Hulk in there. I'm not going to bother taking the Hulk out right now. I'll leave him in his box. I'll leave him there. What else do we have here? And again, I was looking for, mostly I was looking for um, the Invisible Woman. Check this out. All original Thor as well. In the box still. I love this. This is going to look fantastic in my display. These, these are not being purchased to sell. These are being purchased just to put in my display. Again, I don't have any boxed. Look, the, if you look there, the box hasn't even been punched. There's like a little uh, um, peg hole you could have had there. And even has the original, uh, you know, 279. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. If I can go closer, maybe. Uh, I think it's too bright. There you go. It was marked down to 279 from 340. So that's a really nice figure to have in the box. Still a nice Thor. Paul reminds me of me because I, I kept all my boxes to all my Star Wars as well. We also have, check this out, Human Torch. So, uh, first member of the of the um, Fantastic Four. We packed them really, these boxes are in great shape. We also have a really nice Mr. Fantastic. And what's beautiful about this is the face is not gray. Oftentimes with these, the faces go gray, uh, but not this time around. A little bit of a tear here in this box, but hey, you know what? This uh, this figure is pretty much the same age as me, and I've got a few tears myself. Okay, so I'll put those off to the side here. Let's see what else Paul sent me. What do we have here? Oh yeah, complete Iron Man in really nice shape. Look at that. Again, great cover, great art. That's amazing. Very, very happy with this. Oh, wow. Two more. Oh, we can't. Oh, this one's actually open a little bit. We've got uh, the thing. Oh, I lost my picture. Hold on, guys. There we go. We've got a thing, and this one's open. The thing has some staining on his shorts. So the thing maybe had a. Went out for some uh, some food that uh, yeah. so he's got a bit of a wobbly knee, but it looks like he's intact. You know, a bit of staining there, like I said. So the thing was played with. The arm seems. Oh, I think the arm's busted in the, on the thing here. Luckily, I have another thing, but um, and I can fix these two. I'll have to take them apart and investigate, but nonetheless, still in nice shape and a great box. And the and the inserts are still in the boxes too. Which, you know, is usually not the case. Usually, the inserts are missing. You know? Um, but the, oh, the inserts, oh, did I put them in wrong? Oh, I put them in wrong. I put them in upside down. The, um, the inserts are present. And, again, in really nice, the box is in really great shape. So, I'm very, I'm almost more excited about the box in some cases. There we go. So there's the thing right there. We have Iron Man right there. We have another member of the Avengers here. And we have no DC characters. As Paul was not a fan of, I guess, uh, well, we have we have Mar Captain Marvel. That was pretty much it. But no Superman or Batman in this lot. And we have a, a, a nice Falcon as well. Again, in really nice shape. Awesome. And the Falcon's boots are a little bit dirty. Let's have a look at these. Paul did. Paul, Paul disclosed all this to me. He was very forthright about all the problems with the figures. But that is okay. They're, it's totally all right. I'm still very happy to have these. 
I feel like this box has never even been opened. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna open it. I'm not even gonna open it. It's such a good. The box is such a good shape. I'm not gonna bother. But the one I wanted, the one I needed, and it kind of completes my set now is a really nice condition in the box still. Invisible girl. Thank you, Paul. That finally. You know what? I'm actually not done yet. I didn't know if Isis was considered a part of the world's greatest superheroes and i think she is so i still need isis and whether or not i'm going to go and get the teen titan the original teen titans or not i don't know they are very pricey and i don't know if i want to spend the money on them but as far as i'm concerned i'm, I'm pretty much uh, i'm happy to be done now with that invisible woman like i said i had an opportunity to buy uh, a really nice one at a comic show in just outside of toronto about just before covid and I passed it up and bought a um, the larger 12-inch uh, uh, Spider-Man in the box. So it was a great price. I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. So I bought that instead. And I could have bought this too, but I just I was being a little bit uh, conscientious with my spending, so I didn't. And then I regret it because I have not seen one since. And now I've got it. Paul, thank you so so much. You packed them very nicely. You packed them very nicely, and. Uh, they've come to a good home. They're not going anywhere. They're staying right here. And uh, hopefully one day when I'm able to do a proper backdrop for my shows, these guys will be prominently displayed as well. Thank you very much. I'll be in touch over the next day or so as well to finish up this deal. So thank you, Paul. Uh, hey guys, are you Mego fans? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and if you are a Mego fan, if you if you bought Migos as a kid or if you played with Migos when you were a kid, which were your favorite lines? Did you like this, the world's greatest superheroes? Were you into the uh, the Star Trek ones or perhaps the Planet of the Apes or maybe the Wizard of Oz or maybe the Waltons? I don't know. You tell me. Tell me in the, co in the comment section below. And remember, guys, hit that subscribe button. I'm getting very close to 2,000 subscribers. When I get there, I'll be giving away this a really nice... Um, this really nice Jim Lee signed Batman print, which is currently hanging at my office. This baby will be going to some lucky winner, some lucky subscriber when I when I hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm also going to be giving out this copy of Avengers number 100, uh, 100 and a 7.5. And you know what? I'll probably give out a few more goodies as well too. Um, so please do consider subscribing to the channel liking the content, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I go live next. All right, guys, that's it. I told you it's going to be a quick one. What? Not even, not even 15 minutes. A quick one. I need to get to sleep. So until next time, friends, have a great rest of your Labor Day weekend, and I'll see you probably on Monday or Tuesday because I have another CGC box that is going to need another live unboxing. So until then, have a good night. Bye for now.